Welcome back to MacBreak Studio. I'm your host, Mark Spencer. With me is Steve Martin, who's going to give us some Final Cut Pro 10 magic today. Organizational competence. Organizational competence. Wow. <laughs> yes, I don't know. I just kind of made that up as I went. Right like that. Right <laughs> well, there. Yeah. Well, the idea is like you're, you're shooting a documentary, a feature. You have all these clips to manage, and you know how do you, how do you go about it? What's the most efficient way? Because you have two essential ways of doing it in Final Cut Pro 10. You have uh, keyword collections and you have smart collections. Okay, because it's all Final Cut Pro 10 is all metadata driven in terms of organizing your footage. Everything's metadata now. Mm -hmm. Never metadata I didn't like. Okay, so let's, <laughs> sorry, I was bad. So let's look at keyword collections versus smart collections. Keyword what, collections versus smart collections, okay. All right, got it. So here I have a, a bunch of clips from the, the documentary that you and I have been working on up here in the. Uh, Bring Northern them up Cal a little closer? Yeah. In fact, uh, there they are. There's cool. we get some nice little clips that we shot with our 7Ds and Epics and 5Ds, and uh, we shot an interview. In this case, we have this guy, and we shot him on an A camera, and then okay. we have a, a B camera. All right, okay. so two cameras at the same time, shooting him at different angles. Right now, let's just imagine for a moment that we have just a ton of interviews that we need to organize. We, we want to collect. We want to collect so that we don't have to look for them. Okay. Okay. Now you could cre create a keyword collection. So, for example, I could select. These Marcello clips, okay, there's to A, B camera, I'm going to select the interview. And oh, wait, because, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but you, you just selected a third one, so the audio was shot separately from the two, the two video thing. There was separate audio as they, well. Correct, and that's, okay. be, that's because the audio on these, the SLRs. Not, not so good. Not stellar. Right, right, no. so you got a very good mic recording the audio separately. Exactly. Okay. So, but they're all named Marcello, and I want yes. them all in the same uh, keyword collection. Okay. So, they're selected now. And I'm going to click this little key, bring this up, and oh, already get that one there. I'm going to delete that for a second, and then uh, just type it in fresh. And when I hit return, that keyword is applied. To yeah, all I love, I love how you see them kind of yeah. float down in; they get sucked down into the clips. Correct. And I wish there was a sound effect that went with it. But uh, <laughs> there it is, the Marcello keyword collection. And, and we've got the blue bar that tells us there's a there's a keyword, at least one keyword associated with it, right? Exactly. Okay. Now here's where it gets interesting. Okay, let's say I want to turn these into a synchronized clip. In other words, right now, they're not sunk with one another, okay? <laughs> they need to be sunk. And we're, okay. not gonna, and we're not gonna use the old fashioned method, which is a uh, slate. Okay? Find the slate, find where it hits, and then manually line them all up, right? We're not gonna do that. Don't need to do that in Final Cut Pro 10. No, we don't wanna, that's okay. old school. So we're gonna select this, okay. all of them, right click, synchronize. Synchronize clips, okay. now, option command uh, G. All right, well, what just happened? Where did, wait, where did yeah, it go? Nothing happened, nothing, right? Actually, nothing happened at all. It did. I don't see anything <laughs> different. Well, it did, but we okay. have to go to the top level. Uh, to the event. And the you'll see it created, there it is, synchronized interview. In fact, uh, let me switch to the list view so you okay. can actually see uh, that the clip name is Synchronized Clip Marcello oh, interview. interview. Okay. okay. But why didn't we see it before? The reason it didn't, well, because it's not keyworded. I mean, re you'll recall, oh, right. these were keyworded. We tagged them with Marcello, but this one, that this new clip wasn't keyword tagged. Okay, it doesn't have any keywords associated with it, so it's not gonna show up in that keyword collection. Correct, correct. So what we'd have okay. to do is select the clip, and then using the keyword HUD, add the keyword. Okay. okay. But imagine for a moment, you've got a documentary with you know hundreds of interviews. Right. Do you wanna be, key, you wanna be keywording every, every single Every synchronized interview? clip. I think not. I think not. Okay, yeah. so let's look at another way of doing this, okay. called a smart collection. So. To create a smart collection, you will actually right click on the event icon itself, okay. and you're gonna go down and choose new smart collection. Right? And it's gonna create a kind of this untitled smart collection. Let's just call this Marcello. Right? Uh, it's got, it needs an R in oh, it. Oh, okay, so let's, again, let's add R. So it's now it's Marcello. Now, if and it's I, empty. It's empty, completely empty. So what it's not very do? smart. Well, right, <laughs> we have to give it intelligence. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. We have okay. not imbued it with intelligence. It's only yet. as smart as we as we make it. Right. It's it's All dumb right. as a brick right now. All right. Okay. So let's open it by double clicking. Okay. We didn't really open it. We open the filter HUD, and we have to set up some rules okay. for how that smart collection yeah. behaves. Yeah. So we're going to do a simple rule, and we're going to do a text-based rule by clicking this plus button and choosing. Text. text, okay. And basically what a text rule will do is look at the names of the clip. That's the first line of events. It's gonna look at how we've named them. Okay. So all we really need to do is type in Marcello Mar again. Marcello. Yeah. Now, you know, when I do that, let me move this window out of the way, notice it pulls up in this little search, the, the media so browser. Immediately. Everything with Marcello comes so up So any, any clips in the event, in that particular event, that have that word in the title 
automatically get added to that That's right. collection. And what's beauty beautiful about this is you don't have to keyword everything. It just automatically shows up in that smart collection. Okay. So anytime, even a new clip that comes in that says Marcelo, right. or you rename a clip and name it Marcelo, it and ends it up in automatically adds it. So the smart collection yeah. is constantly kind of scanning and aware of anything that meets the criteria gets added to it immediately. Yep. So we don't really even need that keyword collection anymore. We can just uh, select it, hit get command delete, yeah. and We'll just work with a smart collection. And there you've got them all in the list view, and you can switch between the list view and that, uh, that thumbnail view, and then we can see the synchronized clip right there. Right there. Very cool. Now, I've got an amazing tutorial coming out, um, an advanced tutorial on like, how to organize and how to work with interview clips and sync them and all kinds of neat okay. stuff. It'll and be not, not just organizing, right? I mean, just advanced editing tips and, and yeah, stuff Yeah, we're going like to be looking at how to editing promos, editing a dialogue scene, editing, um, what else are we editing? Like a corporate image spot. And it's coming out after the holidays, after okay. the Thanksgiving holidays. So you already have like the Apple Pro Training Series Final Cut Pro 10 training right. that, that a lot of folks already know about. The definitive but now you, training. What's that? The definitive training. The definitive training, yeah. But yeah. now you have a new advanced Final Cut training. On uh, cutting, on editing. That will address this and, and much more. Correct. Awesome. And people can find that? RippleTraining.com. RippleTraining.com. All right. See you. Thanks. And thank you for watching MacBreak Studio.